And now, presenter of Premier Drive and unsigned, Loretta Andrews. As Premier Christian Radio grew up, so did its vision. It began to form its own identity, speaking out and speaking up, reaching into the public square and giving a lifeline to individuals. As every parent knows, Teenagers can be challenging. Will you turn that down? All off! Premier! Premier! Whoa! You heard me! Premier Rachel, you turn that down right now or I'll come up and do it myself! Faith and Christian have successfully guided Premier through teething troubles and potty training, learning to walk and ride a bike without stabilizers, but nothing has prepared them for the current demands of parenting. I think it was 2001 it all started, wasn't it, Chris? About then, yeah. Constant pestering for us to let him go digital. Kids today are never satisfied with what did all right for us. I mean, when I was his age, it was all dials and manual tuning. Well, things do move on. Well, if you ask me, it's peer pressure. Radio One's gone digital and LBC. I'm the only one who's not allowed. It's so unfair. And even before then, the whole internet thing started. Do you remember? Oh, yes. As if broadcasting all over London wasn't enough. He had to go national. And then global. Oh. I mean, he's got listeners all over the world now. Yeah. And then there were the magazines. Oh, the magazines. Oh. I found them when I was hoovering. Yeah. Stacks of them. Yeah. Christianity, oh, God. youth work, oh. children's work. I mean, yeah. is that normal? I tell you what's not normal. Oh. It's that. That noise. That's the kind of music young people listen to nowadays, Christian. Really? Mm. What is it? Gospel. Gospel? Mm. Music for life, he calls it. For life? Mm. You mean this isn't just a passing phase? God help us. It can be hard for parents when their children start to develop their own identity and their own opinions. And while Premier's taste in loud music and hours spent online is typical of many teenagers, one thing is not. Hold your horses, Sunshine. Where exactly do you think you're off to? I told you. I don't think you did. The Houses of Parliament. What? Again? The Houses of Parliament? What on earth for? Is that where kids hang out these days? I'm not a kid, Dad. All right, whatever you say you are. I'm a campaigner, an activist. If it's important, I'm going to speak out about it. Religious hatred, pornography. I mean, that kids, real kids, Mum, can get their hands on. It's not right. Premier has been campaigning for years and with considerable success. And it's down to you, is it, to tackle these things? Why not? Can't always wait for somebody else. Not if it matters. And do they listen to you, all these MPs? They do, actually. Unlike some other people I know. Hey, 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 hey. that's not fair. <laughs> You're starting to sound like me now, Dad. <laughs> you want to come along? <laughs> to the Houses of Parliament? Yeah. Why not? Your suits at the cleaners. Oh, well, yeah. His suits at the cleaners. He doesn't need a suit. The more noise we make about these things, the more likely we're to be heard. It was covered in black bean sauce. Oh, yeah. Mum, just forget the suits. All right, all right. Well, what, what noise are we making today? Slavery. Ah, oh, slavery. I think you'll find that Wilbur, William Wilberforce got in there before you, son. I bet he wore a suit. Today. Slavery today. Modern slavery. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that does seem important. 
I'll tell you more about it on the way. Grab the box. Oh, Christian! Right, uh, come on. Oh, dear me. Mind your back, Christian. What on earth have you got in here? It's a petition. I've got a few people to sign it. A few? OK, a few thousand. Come on, Dad. Dear God. <laughs> Good luck. And it's not just Christian who's getting involved with Premier's activities. For faith, can't get a signal. It's terrible, terrible. Well if I do that, Very sometimes good. it helps. Does it help you? There's certain places, isn't there? Just need to send a text. That's all. Oh, there's a call coming through. Hello, you're through to Lifeline. My name's Faith. What's yours? Um, Alison. I it's Alison. I, I don't have to give you my surname, do I? Of course not. Not if you don't want to. Well, I shouldn't have called, really. Well, why not? What did you say your name was? Faith. <laughs> well, that's appropriate, isn't it? Was there something you wanted to talk about, Alison? Yeah. Um, no, um, I, sh I, I should go, probably. Oh, why don't you just tell me what you've been doing today? Well, it's not very interesting. That's all right. You see, the thing is, I, I, I didn't do anything today. You didn't go out anywhere? I didn't even get dressed. There's no point. OK. What you got to say about that, then? I wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to listen. <laughs> it's all right. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> For Faith, Lifeline was once a lifeline to her. I got involved because I called up. It was when Premier was little. And Christian was working long hours, and I was pretty low. Actually, I'd say I was at my wit's end. I know it's silly, really, and I should snap out of it, but I feel completely drained. I don't think you're being silly at all. It sounds to me like you're being really courageous. Courageous? Why would you say that? The person I spoke to was so kind. I don't mean sympathetic. It was more than that. It was almost as if she was sowing little seeds, little seeds of hope, when everything seemed hopeless to me. I'm, I'm so tired. I tell you what, do you fancy a cuppa? <laughs> what? OK, it's my turn to be silly now. But how about you make a cuppa at your end, and at the same time, I'll make a cuppa at mine, and then, well, we can sit down and have a proper chat. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I know, but I'm gasping. Come on, Alison, into the kitchen. I'm an old grey girl. What about you? Oh, good old builders for me. And now, I volunteer myself, because I know what a difference it made to me. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that Premier wants to make the world a better place. After all, I do too. He can do it at the Houses of Parliament, and I can do it from my kitchen table. But we're doing the same thing. And seeds grow in all sorts of places. <laughs>